We're exploring the great Florida reef in Key West, Florida. It's the only living coral barrier reef in North America. There was a shark coming at me. I think you were nowhere to be found. Oh my god. We're Paul and Sarah, and we are Seeking Saturdays. If you want more Saturdays in your life, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss a thing. We are on our way to go snorkeling. Woo! So that should be fun. We picked the first snorkel of the morning, so hoping to get some pretty good uh, visibility and we can show you some fish. Yep, we shall see. Stay tuned. We've been on a few of those ships. Looks like they're all off the ship. Hey, you got a cruise ship and there are hundreds and hundreds of people. We are boarding Fury Company's 65-foot catamaran called Pacific Fury for their morning snorkel excursion, which lasts three hours and takes us to explore North America's only living coral reef. Thank you. There you go, guys. Have a seat. I love our camera. Hey, guys. Right. Family photo for you. If you go to touch that coral, you wipe away the membrane. Those corals become susceptible to diseases and will be dead within a few days after growing out here for hundreds of years. So rule number one, guys, no touching anything. We're going seven miles offshore, but the coral grows from the ocean floor up towards the surface where it can get lots of sunlight. It may be as shallow as one or two feet in some areas. We paid what we thought was a pretty reasonable price for this experience, about $42 per person. On the plus side, since it's five o'clock somewhere all the time in Key West, we're also looking forward to free beer and wine when we get back on the boat after snorkeling. Take the first catamaran out in the morning if you want to make sure the water is as clear as possible so it's not churned up from afternoon storms. It also gets busier with tons of snorkelers throughout the day. Our adrenaline is pumping as we're thinking about what we're going to see underwater. Will we see big fish, a stingray, a sea turtle, or maybe even a shark? Well, it's all possible in Key West. We're now about seven miles out and near the coral reef, so it's time to get our snorkeling gear on.
see any sharks yet. <laughs> I'm looking forward to petting a shark, but I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> Chasing a parrotfish. Whatever, it was a shark coming at me. <laughs> if you look that way, it still looks like it's coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming at us fast. No, it's not that. What? It's the, underneath that. There's another one underneath. Like a <laughs> See any sharks? No. No sharks. somebody doing a catamaran if they might feel seasick oh well, yeah it's rocking pretty good you have to, I feel like I'm riding a wave like surfing or something so definitely take Dramamine uh, the 24-hour non-drowsy kind 
How about beer? Beer is always welcome. We've actually been on that ship. Yeah. Along with the sister ship, Carnival yeah, of Freedom. Another tip about getting off the boat? Relax, take it easy. Everyone's always like, just to get off. So you can fill up on your way out. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. See you guys the rest of your time here. Cheers. Cheers. Brody. For more details, check out our blog. You'll find the <laughs> link in the description below. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the bell to get notifications. Home sweet home. Made it.